Choosing the right maintenance strategy or maintenance technique is critical to maintaining our assets. Reducing costs, improving safety, or reducing variability, improving predictability. But how often should we do these tasks? When it comes to age or wear related failures, we want to look at planned maintenance. Throughout the life of that equipment, there's some chance of failure, random failure. As that gets older or wears more, the probability of failure increases. So what we want to do is target an overhaul, restoration or discard at some point before that increased probability gets too high. On the other hand, if it's a random chance of failure and it doesn't ever hit that wear out or age related zone, we have to look at it differently. That's what we call the PF interval, the potential failure curve. The failure begins and we may not be able to detect it. Then the failure becomes big enough that we can use some instrumentation or analysis to help us detect that there's a failure. Then the failure gets big enough that we can detect it with our human senses. We can see it, we can hear it, we can feel it. Then to where we can call functional failure. The asset is no longer functioning in the way we need it to. And then eventually catastrophic failure. Falls in a heap, goes on fire, smashes to pieces perhaps. But what we want to do is do our inspections at some point between the potential failure and the functional failure. We do our inspections often enough or our monitoring often enough to make sure we hit between that window. That's the ideal time to do our condition based monitoring or predictive tasks. Hope you find this useful. If you want to see more videos, make sure you follow us. See you again.